On Sunday the 1st of May 1955, a silver Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR entered the Millimilia, a thousand mile road race from Brescia to Rome and back. Behind the wheel, English driver Sterling Moss. Beside him, his navigator, Dennis Jenkinson, a fearless duo who regularly reached speeds of over 170 miles per hour along the public road route. Driving a three-litre Mercedes from Brescia, down the coast, across to Rome and north again, he went like the wind all the way. They were so fast that even the planes filming from above couldn't keep up. Just 10 hours, 7 minutes and 48 seconds later, they were back in Brescia, roaring across the finishing line. He finished over half an hour ahead of world champion Fangio. The first Briton to win this race, Moss had scored a supreme triumph. This record-breaking time has never been beaten, and Sterling remains the only British driver to ever win this iconic race. I think my best race certainly was the Mili Media. I mean, the only guarantee we had was the finest car ever built. I mean, the 300 SLR is probably the greatest sports car ever built by anybody, any time. To drive a Mercedes was fantastic. But now, the time has come for a well-earned rest and pride of place back in the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart, Germany. That is, after one last blast. Somewhere it's never driven before. Somewhere that's never echoed to the sound of its thunderous three-litre straight-eight engine. Somewhere Sir Sterling loved and where he lived for more than 60 years. It was here, in London, where Sterling Moss's 1955 Mille Miglia journey actually began, when he set off for Italy at the wheel of another Mercedes-Benz, the beautiful 300 SL Coupe. The Gullwing. His Gullwing. That Gullwing. And, of course, there can be only one place and time where this journey finishes. At the Moss family home, and at the time, the SLR started its record run in 1955. The time that gave the car its famous race number. 7.22 in the morning. 7.22. I race because I love racing. As a sport, it was something very special. I can't think of any life that's better than being a professional racing driver. And the original 300 SLR was probably the finest sports car ever built. Quite incredible. I mean, it really was a most wonderful machine to drive. 